The Kinect is a sensing device that allows the user to interact and play games without any game controller. It is a prime example of a device that allows so-called natural user interaction. However, since the interaction design in many Kinect game menus is based on principles from old point-and-click systems, we propose a new paradigm for interaction with freehand interfaces, such as a Kinect game menu. Three prototypes are designed and implemented with the aim of presenting good practice when designing Kinect applications. Prototype 1. Point and Weight Interaction This interaction style is similar to the point and weight interaction style seen in many Kinect applications. Many subjects consider this interaction style natural to use since it resembles their familiarity with the point and click interaction. However, in terms of efficiency, this interaction style has some drawbacks. It is not without complications to simply translate a point and click paradigm to free hand interfaces, since issues of clicking and selecting become problematic. The time and task increases significantly because of the safeguard necessary to prevent accidental activations. Instead, we propose other interaction styles. Prototype 2 – Gesture-based interaction This interaction style relies on humans' familiarity with gestural interaction. Using gestures for menu interaction includes a certain fun factor in the menu, but is, however, prone to errors. Prototype 3 – Posture-based interaction Using a set of predefined postures allows for a very efficient interface, which prevents accidental activations and reduces task completion times. Because of the improved efficiency and simplicity, this interaction style is much more suitable for freehand interaction. In a more complicated menu, however, precautions must be taken in order to ensure a good user experience. Results showed that solely posture or gesture-based interaction styles for interaction in freehand interfaces are more efficient than the point-and-click-based style. Task completion time decreases and economic issues such as arm fatigue are reduced 